don't often be finding pockets like this. So many nuggets! Just found another one. I'm hoping to find a really big nugget. This is awesome, and I can see three more. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Polly. Today, I'm pretty excited. We are going underwater to look for some more gold. Now, this is the first time I've been back underwater since my accident about a month ago. So I am a bit nervous. However, I will have people with me, but I will be the only one under the water. Without wasting any more of your time, let's just go in and see if we can find some candy. This one was super easy to find. So in this swim, I didn't spend any time capturing scenic footage or doing too much talking. I just came for a bunch of gold and that's exactly what we got. There seems to be a bunch of little gold all right in here, but there's a lot of overburden. So I'm just gonna take a minute to move everything out of the way that two we can find. Just a few minutes later, I found another one. This spot looks good. It's a nice crack that looks like it hasn't ever been touched. I just found a really nice nugget. Like always, they always look bigger underwater, but for sure this has to be above the ground. I don't think it's gonna fit this stuff. To nobody's surprise, I didn't bring my tweezers. There we go. Uh, I don't think it's a gram, but actually it looks, looks a lot smaller. It's still a nugget. I'm gonna have to leave the camera on. I just found another one. <laughs> this is awesome. I can't imagine ever becoming sick of doing this. It's not often you find pockets like this. I'm hoping to find a really big nugget. So many nuggets! I'm having an awesome day. I just had a little break. I decided to switch spots. I just found a really nice pocket. Two nice little pickers sitting right on the surface. This is awesome. Following this bad rock, I just found another little nugget. Oh, yay, not too bad. Just found another one, but I can't really reach it. Might be able to suck it up. I was honestly really surprised to see that in almost every crack I went to had gold in it. That is actually pretty rare and it makes it difficult to get out of the water. I just sucked up like five pieces from the spot and I can see three more. So, although we were finding consistent gold, I decided I was going to check just a couple more spots before getting out to warm back up. This little crack right here was holding a ton of gold. Feels good to be the first one to find it.
I spent the last of my body heat sucking up little pieces from this crevice before getting out and going home. Okay, I think I'm done. Back in the blue room. Today was a successful and safe gold hunt. To be honest with you, it feels great to get back in the water again, especially after the accident, but now let's see the treasure. Ugh, I don't care how cold I get. It is always worth coming home and looking at the gold like this, especially when you're dry. Now, this is our biggest piece that we found today. Let's weigh the stuff with the thing. Our biggest piece right here, I am going to guess, 0.9 grams. Ah, oh, I was way off, 0.45 grams. Now for the little bits. Seven pounds. 2.79 grams. So I have some exciting news. I've slowly been working on a Patreon account where I'll be sharing most of my behind the scenes footage, exclusive how-to videos, and even one-on-one -on -one communication with you guys and more. I'm making a Patreon account because the platform you're watching this on can be very restrictive in what we can post and I feel like I have so much more I can offer you guys. Not to mention with your support, we can make videos more frequently and much, much better. And if you don't wanna support it, you don't have to. I still love you. If you enjoyed this video, please like that click button and let me know in the comments if you think apple juice is better than orange juice. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, black screen with logo.